Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll discuss an important topic called as attribute mask and secure mask. This is this is a new topic and new feature introduced by Microsoft by which we can create masked values for fields. So let us see how we can create that. Go to your solution and here you have to click on new security. Here you will find two options attribute masking rule and secure masking rule. First, you have to create a secured mask masking rule, then implement it in a attribute masking rule, right? So let me create a new uh, attribute or new field in, in an entity. So let me go to an entity first. I'll go to the entity, let's say loan, and I will go to column and create a new column. Okay. Now I have to create a new column of type, for example, let's say vendor email or agent email now in this i want to store the email id so i can store it here data type is email and click on save and in the advanced option enable this enable column security option the first step is done right by defining column security for a column next is to create a secure mask for this column so how to create a secure mask feature for this column so you have to go to the new component security component and create a secure mask so let us wait till the column is created for us now i'll go to the uh, all components in the solution and create a new security and choose secure masking rule and the secure masking rule you have to define the masking rule for your mask whether it is a email masking or social secret number masking or other card number masking you can define here so let's define a uh, rule here let's say modern email masking rule okay and here i want to give a display name and to give a display name let's say this one the same name okay. the name should not uh, should not allow uh, the uh, space right so give a uh, attribute uh, the prefix and keep every keep uh, the value without a description give the same description and in the regular expression you have to define the uh, regular expression uh, that will match so that it will replace so i can tell chat gpt to generate this i have asked a uh, ask the chat gpt the, to give me a secure masking rule for regular expression to hide first four letters in the email address so what i will do i will copy this that is generated by the chat gpt and use it here in the regular expression okay and here you can define what should be the mask mask character let's say i want to use uh, star to replace the actual values with this masked character next you can define a testing data let's say i want to use a sample email let's say sample email at the red gmail.com now when i give test data and click save you can see the master test data how it is representing how it is masking your uh, sample data you see how it is uh, masking so after s a m p whatever value is there before at the red it is masking with a star that's what i am expecting so this regular expression so define correct regular expression to mask your patterns now it is done so how to implement this in a real uh, real uh, attribute so next create a new create a new security attribute masking rule and the attribute masking rule you have to define which entity which attribute and which rule now here i, I want to define let's say chanjay underscore agent email mask and define the attribute copy the attribute logical name i have created a attribute new attribute in my 
table called as loan. I'll navigate to the loan entity and go to the column and copy the logical name. First, I need the logical name of the entity. So go to entity and go to properties. Here you can navigate to the advanced option and copy the logical name. And here you can just the attribute masking. Sorry, in the entity you put this. But in the attribute, put the attribute logical name. So go to the columns and agent email and copy the logical name. In the advanced option, you can get the logical name of the field. You can copy this and paste here. In the attribute uh, name. And in the masking rule, choose your new masking rule, modern email masking rule, and save it. So I've successfully created a secure masking rule plus associated the masking rule with my attribute masking. Now let me check if it is working fine in the form. Let me add this agent email in the form, loan form. I'll open the loan form here. In the loan form, I want to use my new column that I that I have created, which is used for masking. So we'll go to custom and add this agent email and click on save and publish. Once it is saved and published, I can test this. You see the uh, key icon is available here besides the field name. Now once it is saved and published, let me open the app where I am using this entity for. So let me go to the model driven app and run the application by clicking these three dots and click on this play icon. Now you can test this. If we test, if you open a loan record, you can create a new uh, record by using this new form, and you can observe the masking rule here. So click on open any existing record. Also, you will find the new column that is available called as agent email. This is the agent email. So let me put some value here. Let's say I am putting A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H at the red gmail.com and once I will save it, once I will save it, I am expecting this agent email will be masked. You see A, B, C, D star at the red gmail.com. You see how it is masked. So I hope you understand how masking works.